and then we'll head south after that. Hi everyone, Squeeze and I are going to take a hike through the woods. I heard there's a really pretty waterfall in the area, so we're planning a hike to check it out. Are you excited, Squeaks? Oh, are you okay? Oh, I see. Squeaks is a little bit worried that we might get lost in the woods. That's okay, Squeaks. Walking in the woods is a lot different than walking around the fort. But don't worry, we're going to take steps to make sure we don't get lost. That's why we're making a hiking plan before we leave. And part of that plan is to make sure we take along our trusty compass. We can use it to help us figure out which direction we're going and keep us from getting lost. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Squeaks. Oh, look who it is. It's our friend, Dr. Turtleman. Ah, oh, good idea, Squeaks. Dr. Turtleman does travel a lot. Maybe we can ask him what he does to keep from getting lost. If you've got questions about travel, I'm definitely the reptile to ask. Sea turtles take long trips every year, and I mean long. Some turtles swim thousands of kilometers across the ocean to find food, and we can find our way back home from anywhere in the world. You're right, Squeaks. There aren't any roads or trails for turtles to follow in the ocean. That's because we don't need them. Like many sea turtles, I can find my way around or navigate without following roads. I don't even need to use a map or a computer. Whoa, that's like a superpower. It's a science power, and the power has to do with magnets. You see, magnets have two ends called poles, and one end of a magnet is called the North Pole, the other is called the South Pole, and these poles can pull on each other. We call this pulling force magnetic attraction. Magnetic attraction is why you can use magnets to pick up some things made of metal, like paper clips. The magnets pull on them hard enough to pick them up. And we call anything that gets pulled by a magnet magnetic. Exactly. Now, our Earth also kind of acts like a big magnet. It even has poles. And they can also pull on some things or attract them. That includes the needle on your compass because it's made out of a magnetic metal. So your compass needle points toward north because its ends are being pulled on by the Earth's magnetic poles. And that's why a compass is so helpful for finding your way around. That's right. And in a way, sea turtles like me carry a compass everywhere we go because we have something similar inside our heads. We have this stuff in our brains called magnetite. It's a kind of magnetic rock, so it gets pulled on by the Earth's magnetic poles, much like the needle of your compass. And because we have these teeny tiny bits of magnetite in our brains, we can always sense which way is north. And that really helps us find our way around. That's so cool! It is! This special sense even has a cool name. It's called magnetoreception. And turtles aren't the only ones that use it. Scientists think other kinds of animals use magnetoreception to help them get where they want to go, including birds, frogs, and dolphins. Compasses, whether inside or out, are just so great when you don't want to get lost. So what do you think, Squeaks? Do you feel a little bit better knowing we'll have a compass with us on our hike? I'm so glad! Thank you, Dr. Turtleman, for teaching us all about magnetoreception. You're welcome, Jesse. Have fun on your hike. Bye. And thank you for joining us here at the fort. If you want to keep learning and having fun with me, Squeaks, and all our friends, be sure to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>